YouTube family, this is KT Samuel, your favorite snow farmer. And um, you can see I'm sweating. <laughs> we just stocked up um, our farm in Eastern region uh, with snails coming from the Buno East region. And I want to show you how we package them because again, online, I see people supply some farms with snails in a very tall laundry basket with no cushioning for the snails, no dry leaves beneath, no dry leaves separating the snails. So when the snails are being transported from a very long distance, the snails at the bottom go through a lot of stress. In fact, all the snails, anytime the car hits a pothole, they go through a lot, a lot of stress. So we just want to give you a preview of how we stocked up these snails and brought them here. Hold on. What do you, what you do notice is that we have dried leaves covering them. We also have a sack, um, the woolen sack, the one that is used to bag cocoa in the beneath and then more leaves to um to cushion them you also realize that we did not stock them all the way to the to the brim or to the top so that the snails at the bottom would not have a lot of um stress um so you can see here all the baskets of snails and we have feed on top of them not a, a tall laundry basket you can see it's a very low basket and then we spread the snails um across we have we have six baskets full of snails and then we took very good care of them so that we have quality snails healthy snails coming from even a long journey they're still very strong and active As you can see, very strong, active, healthy snails. See, well transported. So anyway, I hope this time you also learned something um, that you should know how to transport your snails. Make sure they are well cushioned. They have a lot of um, leaves on top of them. Thank you for watching this YouTube video. Subscribe. Thank you.